Hello and welcome to Bits and Bobs, a weekly Skyrim mod show where we outline this week's best mods. And to start us off this week we have the revamped version of the Flyable Dragon Races mod. The mod allows you to transform into a dragon and walk and fly around Skyrim. The mod also allows you to adjust settings like the size and type of your dragon through an options menu spell and transform into a dragon using another spell. As a dragon you can do a variety of things like slamming your tail, biting and roaring, as well as use the two new dragon shouts Fire and Frost Breath. The new update also allows you to land your dragon by pressing E, which will land your dragon in the closest possible location. This mod keeps improving, so keep an eye on this one in the future. Next up we have the Pinup Poser, a mod that allows you to either use spells or equips to force NPCs or your own character into a variety of different poses. The poses include standing, sitting, kneeling or lying down, and there's over a hundred to choose from. It can be a little tricky to set up. The process includes either using rings or spells to assign a specific pose and then using another ring or spell to actually do the pose. So we can continue to show you more poses, we thought we'd mix it into the next mod. The Osair One Piece is a new female clothing added to the game. The set comes with a dress and the choice of three different straw hats, large, medium and small. To get your hands on the set, because you can't craft it, you'll either need to use the CLC QA smoke command and buy it from a merchant, or use the direct item code and then the player.addItem command. This next mod adds three new weapons based on Damascus steel for the blade and ebony wood for the hilt. The mod adds a dagger, a sword and a greatsword, all three following the same detailed design. There are two versions of this mod that you can download, one that replaces the ebony swords and dagger in-game, and one that'll leave them intact but make the new designs craftable at Forge. The blades are very detailed and high res, and they'll fit in well in Skyrim. They're a great example of how a weapon mod should be. The first of two popular animation mods released this week include Running with a Bow. The mod changes the animation so your character's run is much smoother, and the bow is held in front of them with the offhand staying much more still, instead of the original animation where the bow is held to the left and your character swings their body and other arm like an ape. The animation will work for both males and females, and only the animation for running is changed, so the animation for sprinting remains the same, but the original wasn't too bad anyway. And moving on to something a little more fun, the Unforgiving Force mod adds a spell that alters the power of the usual unrelenting force shout to 99999, turning the spell into something nobody would want to mess with. The spell also does 55 shock damage over 2 seconds, but once you use this spell, you generally won't have to worry about your opponents being in your way anymore. The mod also comes with a toned down version of the spell, that only has a force of 40, for those of you that want to stay lore friendly, but we had the most fun with the more powerful version of the spell. The second popular animation mod released this week changes the death animation. The mod attempts to remove any spinning your character does after they die. So with the mod installed you'll get more of a ragdoll effect when dying, and your character will fall in the general direction in which they were hit. If we have a look at them side by side you can clearly see the spinning that happens on the left and the lack of spinning on the right. Both Race and Lord of the Ring mods are usually welcomed by more Skyrim fans, and this next mod is a mixture of both. The Nazgul race is a new race added to Skyrim, and they come with their very own set of spells, most notably Nazgul Black Breath which absorbs 25 points of stamina, health and magicka per second from a target, their own armour set and even their very own horse. The armour set consists of a ring that'll boost your magic abilities, Daedric Gauntlets and Boots, and a black robe that completely covers your character's face, just like the Nazgul from the films. It's a great mod for any Lord of the Rings fans out there. The Darksiders armour mod adds a new male or female armour set to the game, as well as five new weapons. The armour falls under the heavy category with stats being similar to that of Daedric armour, and the set also comes with an optional masked or unmasked hood. To get it in game you'll need to head to the War Merchant who can be found to the northeast of Riverwood. Once there you'll find the War Merchant sitting at the shrine. He'll be able to sell you every piece of the armour set and the five weapons for a few thousand gold each. The five weapons added include four greatswords and a scythe, which are all large and extremely detailed. The Mystic Player Home is located near Half Moon Mill and features everything you'd ever need in a player home, including a full crafting set, weapon racks, mannequins, chests and more. While the outside of the house is very well made, the inside of the abandoned tower is what makes this mod great. You can really see that a lot of time and effort has been put into making each of the rooms, and it really adds a new dimension to how the home feels. The lighting is very well done, and this magic themed home is a great addition to anyone's world. Jaws the Deadly Oceans mod adds 8 new deadly saltwater species of slaughterfish to the game. The fish come with high definition textures, their own custom sounds, scripted abilities and dynamic stats and you can find the new fish to the northern coast of Skyrim. The mod adds a wide variety of fish to the game. For example, certain fish are 10 times larger than others and their damage usually corresponds with their size, but to compensate the larger fish will move much slower than the smaller ones. 
and the fish also come with their own custom combat music to complete the Jaws-like effect, which can be turned off or on in the new book in your inventory. This next mod aims to give players more choice in some light armour if they don't like the elven equipment that Skyrim already offers them. The Pino Light Armour is a realistic chainmail armour that comes in two varieties, one with a full chain top and bottom, and the other with a chainmail top but leather bottoms. The armour also comes with its own custom gloves, and is available to both male and female characters, which is something a lot of mod creators seem to overlook, so we're glad that this one incorporates both genders. If you share the opinion of the mod creator and don't like the elven set too much, download this mod and use it instead. Quite a while back we covered the Apache Sky Hair mod, which adds a variety of new realistic and smooth hairstyles for your character to choose from. But NPCs would still be stuck However, with the, with old the Apache hair. NPC overhaul mod, the hairs will now also be equipped to all human and elven NPCs in the game. The new hairstyles fit most of the NPCs well, but if you're unhappy with the choice of hair for a particular NPC, the creator has also included a quick and easy guide to changing an NPC's hair. It's a great example of a simple mod that adds a lot to the game. And we'll leave you with a fully functional flying Dwemer skyship. You'll find the skyship to the west of Riverwood, along the road at the Guardian Stones. And along with it you'll find a chest with a manual, that'll let you fully customise how your ship will fly and you'll be able to activate the ship along with it too. Once you've boarded the skyship, head to the front and activate the wheel to take the ship up into the sky. The ship will be slow, but we're glad to see it isn't too fast, so the ship feels like it could be made with technology available in Skyrim, and isn't law breaking with the idea that it uses Dwemer technology to operate. It's definitely unique and a great mod to end today's episode with. We hope you enjoyed the first episode of Bits and Bobs that we've uploaded to TGN. We've been Bro Duel, and thanks for watching.